Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a fillet in FreeCAD and here we will focus on achieving a smooth transition from one radius to another, so there are no flat faces here. We simply want these two radii to be connected. For those who don't know yet, FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system that everyone can use. FreeCAD can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. We can use this system even for paid projects. To use FreeCAD, just download it and in just a few minutes you can start creating your own 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now I will show you how to add such radii. We will create a parametric part project and start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Here we will create a rectangle. Select the centered rectangle command and create a rectangle whose center will be at the origin of the coordinate system. For the dimensions of the rectangle, enter 100 by 40 millimeters. Close the sketch, add a 10 mm extrusion and click OK. Now we will create the second part of the body. We will create a sketch on this face, select that face, choose Create Sketch and here we will draw a slot. Select that command. Place the first point of the slot on the x-axis. While it is highlighted, click with the left mouse button. As for the second point of the slot, also place this point on the x-axis but from the other side and draw a slot approximately like this. Right click to cancel that drawing command and now we will add a symmetry constraint so that this slot is centered on this body. Select this point, select this point and select the Y axis then choose the symmetry constraint. We have one redundant constraint. Select that constraint, right click and choose Delete. One of the constraints that was added automatically was redundant and we had to remove that constraint to apply the symmetry constraint. Now we will add dimensions. Select this line, press the D key and enter 50 millimeters as the dimension. Next, select this arc and enter 15 millimeters as the radius of the arc. We close the sketch. And now based on this sketch we will add another extrusion also of 10 millimeters and click OK. Now we will add the fillets here. If you would like to do it in the standard way, that is we select the edge. Note that I am only selecting one edge. I choose the fillet command and here the fillet has also been added to the other edges. Let's set the radius of this fillet to 3 millimeters and click OK. Now I will add a fillet to this edge. I select this edge, choose the fillet command and here we have added a radius of 3 millimeters. The height of this part of the body is 10 millimeters, so we will now add a radius of 7 millimeters. Pay attention to what happens. I have a radius of 6 millimeters here and we have a flat face. I add a 7 millimeters radius and cannot create such a radius. I can create a radius of 6.99 and it looks like these radii transition smoothly from one radius to the other. However, as we zoom in here we have a fragment of a flat surface. Of course, in many cases this may not be a problem, but if you want these radii to be smooth so that there isn't this flat section, we need to approach this in a slightly different way. I will cancel this operation and now to add a radius of 7 millimeters here we will simply create a sketch of this radius. Select create sketch and create a sketch on the YZ plane. Next select the create external geometry command and create a reference geometry based on this edge of the body. Switch it to cross section view. Next select the arc drawing command and create an arc with three points. Draw this arc approximately like this. Right click to cancel the arc drawing command. 
we need to constrain these points together. I select these two points and choose the coincident constraint. OK, next I select this point and this point and choose the horizontal vertical constraints so that these points lie in a straight line. Now select this arc and press the D key and enter 7 mm as the radius of this arc. Now I select this point, this point, and here I also enter 7 mm as the distance between these points. I right click to cancel the dimensioning. Based on this arc, we will create a material removal operation, but to perform such an operation, we need a closed area. We want to remove this corner, so now I select the polyline drawing and will close this area in any way. I right click to cancel the polyline drawing command. Here it's just about having a closed area based on which we will remove the material. I close the sketch. Now we will remove this material using the material removal operation by extruding the sketch along a specified path. The sketch to remove the material will be this sketch and the path sketch will be the slot sketch we are using in this operation. If I turn on the visibility of this sketch, it will not be visible because the body obscures this sketch, but this is the sketch, and we will be able to use this sketch in the material removal operation by extruding the sketches along a specified path. We select the profile sketch which will serve to remove the material. Next we select the subtractive pipe operation, and now we select the path along which we will extrude this sketch to remove material. As I mentioned, the path sketch is not visible at the moment, but we can switch to the Model tab and simply select that sketch here. Now we go back to the Tasks tab, click OK to confirm this operation, and we have something like this. As you can see, these radii are connected. We have a transition from one radius to the other and no flat section. These radii are simply connected to each other. This is how we created something like this. In this example, I wanted to show you the way we can create such radii, but I also wanted to show you the subtractive pipe operation, which can also be very useful in many other cases. That's all for today. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.